In Excel, we can use data tables to simultaneously see many different answers to the same problem, given different combinations of input values. For this purpose, Excel allows us to create and use both one-dimensional and two-dimensional data tables. A one-variable data table allows us to see how different values of one variable in a particular formula will change the results produced by that formula, while a two-variable data table allows us to see how different values of two input variables will change the results produced by a formula. Let's see an example of how to create and use one of these two-dimensional data tables. Using the car loan example on this worksheet, let's imagine that we wanted to see how changing both the annual interest rate for the loan and the number of payments would impact the amount of each loan payment. A two-dimensional data table is perfect for this type of analysis. To begin, let's list all of the different interest rates we want to consider in columns F through L. In this case, we will consider annual interest rates ranging from 1% to 7%. Next, let's list all of the different repayment terms that we want to consider in rows 5 through 9. In this particular example, we will consider car loans ranging from 24 to 72 monthly payments. Now I'll take a few moments to format the worksheet in order to improve its visual appearance. Now that our worksheet looks a bit better, let's proceed with building our data table. The next step in the process is to provide Excel with a reference to the formula that we want it to use in order to calculate the values displayed in the data table. The cell reference must always appear in the upper left corner of our data table at the intersection of the row and column which contain the different values that we will use in the analysis. In the current example, the cell which needs to contain our reference formula is cell E4. The final step is to provide a reference to the formula that we want to use in order to construct the data table. In this case, we are interested in seeing how the loan payment will change under these different conditions. And so the formula on the worksheet that we want to use is located in cell B10. Now we are ready to ask Excel to build our data table. To do this, we first select the boundaries of our data table, including the row and column headers, which contain the various values that we would like to consider. We next click on the Data ribbon, select the What If Analysis drop-down box, and then click on the Data Table option. This will cause the Data Table dialog box to appear. As you can see, this dialog box asks us to supply references to the row input cell and the column input cell for the analysis. In our example, the top row of the data table contains annual interest rates, so I will use cell B3 as the row input cell, since cell B3 contains the annual interest rate on our car loan worksheet. Finally, our column in the data table contains different values for the total number of payments for the loan. So I will select B8 as the column input cell, since cell B8 contains the total number of payments on our car loan worksheet. When I click the OK button, Excel will construct our requested data table. As you can see, the amount of each monthly payment varies widely depending on the interest rate of the loan and the total number of loan payments.